Hello grade 12s. Um, in this lesson we are going back to trigonometry and we are continuing with general solutions where we ended off in term 1. So we need to determine the general solution of cos 3x equals to sine x. Now in the past we had the value on the left equal to some sort of numerical value on the right. Now we have two trigonometric identities and in this case it's not cos equals to cos, it's cos equal to sine. What we want to do is change either the one on the left or the one on the right to, to the other one. So look for example what we did. We used the reduction formula of cos 90 minus x which is still sine x and we changed it so that both sides we have a cos. So we have a cos on the left and a cos on the right. Now you'll notice that this is a positive value. Because it's a positive value, we can consider the quadrants where cos is positive. So this cos is equal to a positive value of cos and it's positive in quadrant 1 and in quadrant 4. So for quadrant 1, instead of finding a reference angle, what we will have then is 3x is equals to 90 minus x, that, that um, angle size, plus k times 360, which is the period for cos. And we're using quadrant 1 because cos is positive in quadrant 1. Now what we do is we simply simplify it. I bring the x over to the one side. So I have 4x equals to 90 degrees plus k times 360. And then I divide everywhere by 4. So 4x divided by 4 will give me x. 90 degrees divided by 4 is 22 and a half. And 360 divided by 4 is 90. And then k must be an integer value. The next part is an hypothetical quadrant form. It's the easiest way to identify which values to use. In quadrant 4, we have 360 degrees minus whatever we angle we use. And then if you go back up, the angle representing theta is 90 degrees minus x. So this 90 degrees minus x will be the whole of theta. So if I write it out, I have 3x, which is on the left, is equals to 360 degrees minus theta, 90 minus x, plus k times 360. Now I remove that bracket, therefore it will become 270 degrees plus x, so that minus and that negative there will create a positive x. Move everything over to the or move the x's over to the left and keep the uh, numbers on the right. I have then 2x is equal to 270 degrees plus k times 360. And I divide everywhere by 2. So x is equal to 135 degrees plus k times 180. Now these two are my two possible solutions for x. I have x can be 22 and a half degrees plus k times 90 degrees or x can be 135 degrees plus k times 180 degrees to satisfy the equation given at, given at the start. In our next example we have sine 3 theta plus 30 degrees is equals to negative cos 2 theta. Now I have again two different ident trigonometric identities on the left and on the right and I can choose to what I want to change it to. 
we are going to change the one on the right. So I have sine 3 theta plus 30 degrees is equals to sine 90 degrees minus 2 theta. This is the reduction formula which we learned, or not the reduction formula, this is the co-function which we learned in grade 11. And we simply apply it to change cos to sine. Now that I have both sides, I have a sign, I look at that negative. And that negative indicates the quadrants which we will use. So this will be quadrant 3 and quadrant 4. Because sine is negative in quadrant 3 and quadrant 4. So in quadrant 3, we have 180 degrees plus whatever angle we have. So we have 3 theta. We have 3 theta plus 30 degrees. That's 3 theta plus 30 degrees is equal to 180 degrees plus the angle. And the angle which we are referring to is 90 minus 2 theta. So if this is angle A altogether, in quadrant 3 it's 180 degrees plus whichever angle. And that A is represented by 90 minus 2 theta. Then I simplify, move all the variables to the left and the numerical value, values to the right, divide everywhere by 5. Notice I also divide the k by 5. And I put the restriction for k at the end. For quadrant 4, we will have 360 degrees minus the angle. The angle is the same. So it's 3 theta plus 30 degrees, what we had on the left, equals to 360 minus, that gives us quadrant 4, 90 degrees minus 2 theta plus k times 360. I simplify again by removing the brackets, move variables to the one side, numerical values to the other, and then I have theta is equals to 240 degrees plus k times 360. I do not have to divide because I only have one unit of theta. And this is my second solution for theta, and that is my first solution for theta. In our next part of the lesson, or the content, we are going to identify when identities are undefined. Now, identities are undefined at two places, when the denominator of any fraction is equal to zero, and secondly, for tan theta, where theta is 90 degrees, and multiples of, 90 de uh, multiples of 180 added to that continuously because that is a period of the tan graph graphically it will look like this uh, this is a t normal tan graph and we know that tan is undefined at 90 degrees here's our example when is this identity undefined so it will be undefined for values of tan and values of sine 2 theta equal to 0. How it will look like for tan theta, the, that part of the equation or identity is undefined where theta is 90 degrees plus k times 180. And k is, must be an integer. And for sine 2 theta, this will be sine 2 theta is equal to 0, not 0 degrees just the value of zero. And as we discussed before, we use zero as a positive value. So that refers us to quadrant one and quadrant two. We find the reference angle. So sine is equal to zero at zero degrees. And then we use it for quadrant one and quadrant two. But notice we are using sine two theta. So in our equation, we will have 2 theta. In quadrant 1, 2 theta is equal to 0 degrees plus k times 360. Divide everywhere by 2 to, to have theta alone. And then 
in quadrant 2, 180 minus um, 0 degrees plus k times 360, divide everywhere by 2. You'd notice that sometimes the solutions repeat itself. Because for tan, we have theta is equal to 90 plus k times 180. And for sine 2 theta, we have that same equation repeating. And it's okay. It's important to show how, what you find. And don't just assume that somewhere always something would repeat. In our last example, we want to determine for which values of A will this identity be undefined. And it is undefined for uh, values of tan A, which we have discussed before, also where 1 plus tan A is equal to 0, and where 1 plus sine 2A is equal to 0. So, for tan, tan A is undefined, where A is equal to 90 degrees plus K times 180. Remember, this comes from the function or the graph of tan, which is undefined at the asymptote of 90 degrees. Then, we have 1 plus tan A in the denominator, and we set that equal to 0 as well. So 1 plus tan A equal to 0 to make the denominator on the left equal to 0. And then I remo remove the 1 over, so tan A is equal to negative 1. Tan is negative in quadrant 2 and in quadrant 4. I find the reference angle. Remember, you always substitute a positive value in your calculator when you find the reference angle, but this is also a special angle which we need to know. So the reference angle is 45 degrees. In quadrant 2 I will have in quadrant 2 I will have A is equal to 180 degrees minus 45 that places me in quadrant 2 plus k times 180, which simplifies to 135 degrees plus k times 180, where k is an integer. For quadrant 4, because tan is negative in quadrant 4, we have a is equal to 360 degrees minus 45 degrees plus k times 180. I simplify that, so this value of 315 degrees is in quadrant 4, plus k times 180, where k is an integer. Remember this is, we're adding the period of tan. Then the final denominator, then the final denominator which we need to work out is 1 plus sine 2a. And we place that also equal to 0. And then sine 2a is equal to negative 1. Sine is negative in quadrant 3 and in quadrant 4. So the reference angle, you're supposed to know that sine is equal to 1 at 90 degrees. Then for quadrant 3, I have 2a, remember it's 2a equals to 180 degrees plus k times, we have 2a is equals to 180 degrees plus 90 plus k times 360. I simplify and divide everywhere by 2 and I to in order to have the value of a alone. I do the same for quadrant 4. And you notice that this solution repeats.